Well, welcome back into Queen City News Now. It's National Severe Weather Preparedness Week, and protecting yourself from tornadoes is one of the areas that we touched on. And fellow meteorologist Andrew Brightman joining us yeah. this morning for an experiment you've been excited about all week long. How a tornado forms, we get to depict that for viewers. Let's let's break it down. What do Let, we let's break it down. So basically, this is something a lot of blood, sweat, and tears yesterday. Obviously, I'm not going to win. I'm not Johnny I from Apple. I'm not going <laughs> to win any design awards here. Yeah. But I did want to talk about basically how you can make a tornado at home here, and we can watch so it. So that's you, dry ice putting in the water here. Washing okay. in the water. We got a little fan up top, a little bit of uh, outflow here pulling out the top. Now, if you give it a second, we're going to watch a little tornado form. Give it a moment here. So the materials you had was the dry ice, the water, yes. the fan on top, and you built this construction here. Built this construction. So basically, we've got airflow coming inside, and then eventually, give it a moment here, you'll see it start to go out the top. Wow, right yeah. There. We got not very strong tornado. <laughs> we got a little baby fan up top. Maybe yeah. a nice little EF1. Maybe a weak EF2 here. That's what I'm talking about. But that's you can see it's air pulling. That's why I have the slits on the right side of each of the cardboard, so you get that uniform pull in that inflow, and then there it is pulling out the top. And that's basically when we're talking about a tornado. That's air going up into the cloud per se, and it's just a cool little demonstration. You can make this all at home, Ted. Again, I made this yesterday afternoon. It was a it was a fun experience. <laughs> it's a little bit more involved than what I thought, but yeah. you can see the nice little rotating tornado right there, and it's just made out of dry ice and water. So for parents at home who are seeing this, and maybe the kids that are watching, they might be fascinated. The, the, the list here, you had the cardboard, you had the tape, the fan, the dry ice, and the water. It's pretty simple to do at home, right? Yeah, exactly. The, probably the most exotic thing you need is to get some plexiglass, but okay. th that really is about it. And this is just something I wanted to do. We've been talking a lot about the safety aspects, hail, damaging winds, uh, tornado activity, lightning. Elisa was doing trivia about it earlier in the week. Yeah. And I just thought, you know, fun thing to do here to wrap up the week. First, I just want to hang out with you. It's always a good time. <laughs> always also, welcome. Actually, I just come here, down here to hang out with Jason and Julian, but it's just a little fun uh, demonstration for yeah. you guys in the morning. Always welcome on the show. And, yeah, kind of showing exactly that, that updraft when you can actually depict the movement of the air, which is why we pay close attention to these situations because of how fine that funnel can be and the destruction that these tornadoes yeah, can carry with them. Exactly. And again, once again, it's always on the right side. You can see with the cardboard, that's the inflow pulling the air from the outside. And then the fan up top sort of pulls it out of my little, what we'll call the tornado, the Queen City News tornado box. Absolutely. Blood, sweat, and tears went into this experiment. <laughs> Andrew Brightman, we appreciate you. And of course, you're always, as part of the Pinpoint Weather team, watching when severe weather does threaten the area. Yep. We appreciate the work and, of course, helping to keep everybody safe with us. Yeah, also hanging out with you this morning, my yeah, man. Always good, always yeah. good.